What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. DICE has finally announced there will be rentable servers in Battlefield 5. Now this is something people have been wanting for a long time. Uh, they were very popular in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. The sad thing is they won't be available to probably the end of summer. Now DICE said they're going to give more details about this at ePlay before E3 in June. But they did go on with kind of a lengthy article talking about some of the core functionalities of this. Uh, I will link this article down in the description below if you would like to read over it. I'm just going to kind of hit some of the high points that they did discuss. The first thing that was very interesting to me is they said, that they said there will be a new kind of name for this is going to be called Private Games. And there will be a standard edition, kind of a standard service of private games, and that will be free. So you're not going to have to be paying for everything within a server. Now, they said if you want more of an advanced style server, that will cost you. They did not list the price or anything like that. Hopefully, the free version will not just be a very basic version where it's pretty much just you have no options. Hopefully, the free service will have some options. And if you want to get more of an advanced style you know, kind of server, then you can pay for that uh, kind of along the way as you wish. Because servers are expensive. I don't care if you play on console or on PC. Servers in the past for Battlefield have been pretty hefty in price. I had servers in Battlefield 3 and 4. I enjoyed them, but the price did get a little out of control sometimes in my opinion. Um, they said what will happen is you can get on, save your configurations for whatever game modes you want to use, however you want to set that server up. You log in for that day, you create the server, as long as you're online and there's people within that server, the server will stay on. And as soon as that server has a, a you know, emptied out with players, there's nobody left in it, that server will go offline. You just get on every day and repeat that same kind of process. And you can save, like I said, you can save those configurations so you don't have to redo your settings every single day. These are not going to be third-party servers like in Battlefield 4. These will be EA and DICE servers. So hopefully... For that kind of advanced style server, that if you want to pay for some different services within this, if it's a EA and DICE, maybe it will be a little bit cheaper this, considering it's not third party. Of course, like I said, we don't know for sure, but there's that to look kind of look forward to as well. And they say this will pretty much pick a area that is closest to you when you create that server. So, for example, if you're a West Coast person in the United States, it's probably going to pick something around California. If you live in Europe, you live close to London probably. It's going to pick something close to London. That way you will have a good connection to the server that you are hosting or kind of creating. Um, overall, guys, I think this is a pretty great announcement. Sadly, it will not come out to the end of summer, so I'm hoping that's not too late. The only other concern that I really have about this is I want to see more of kind of what the free ser standard service offers and what the advanced paid-for service offers to see if the free version is even worth doing. Hopefully that will be the case. Hopefully the advanced kind of versions you have to pay for is just for more advanced style players, maybe like clan matches or something like that. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, guys. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.